now I'll be um, talking about the how to understand about software metrics and analytics here from chapter three based um, in the the Pressman's practitioner's approach to software in for for software engineering. So metrics are somewhat must be key in order to understand how you like to to generate an understanding of what you do good so like you you need metrics to to get an insight a raw insight because something is what you how you feel it but in other ways you also need to um, to see it like the raw the raw details in order to if if you are if you want to make a precise description to a customer it's telling you you can we can work in this way or we can we can generate this amount of lines of code or this quality of a problem or a a um, a, um, a, a a application and we can also use it for us to understand how we where we if we need to uh, be more effective in some way. So uh, this is a way to understand the metrics are to understand how we work. And um, and this it's an, an analytical approach to how we develop. Um, and and we can base these metrics, we, we can define them ourselves and we can also use these some of the, the good old, um, or, or at least this is what the chapter does. It does go into um, how we should uh, generate these metrics. So, um, from from this Pressman book, which I only can recommend for um, for understanding uh, of it, for being better as a software developer, software processes and projects metrics are quantitative measures. So this is the quantitative measures. As I was speaking before, this is how we get to know in a more descriptive in the, in in terms of uh, numbers what we can do and what we cannot do. And this opens up maybe f- for understanding how we we effectively can improve our ways of working or and, and where the slicing should be. Um, quantitative measures and this this that can be very useful in order for all other people also to understand uh, how you you develop a software project as as a, as an as an out, outside or a, an outside being person that related to the development process. A customer, for example, quantitative measures that enable you to gain insight into the efficiency of the process, software process, and the projects that are conducted using the um, the process as a framework um, of the soft. Okay, what so so gain insight into the efficiency of the software process and the projects that are conducted using the process as a framework. Um, product metrics help. Uh, so so the, how should we uh, interpret this? Um, process project that are conducted using the process as a framework. So yeah, yeah, the process as a framework. Well, yeah, yeah. How should we understand that a process as a framework? Mm, yeah, and we that we will be looking into the the process more or less more than the the the, the I think the um, um, let it being the actual product. Uh, developing the product, but developing a a a, a more genuine uh, generic uh, framework, uh, applicable framework. Uh, so, product metrics help software engineers gain insight into the design and construction of the software they build. Okay, so um, yeah, that can that can be um, yeah yeah. This is interesting. So yeah, so in order for us to know how what what to do when we want to develop something within a given time and a given size um, uh, and given complex, uh, a special, special complexity. We need to know that we need, in order to make uh, good estimates, we need to uh, have some good metrics that can be, uh, be, be um, that, that can help us you inter- understand the, um, um, yeah, and give und- understand how, how we develop something, you know, like, what is developed in in numbers, because then then we can be more precise and and give good estimates to a client, a customer. 
What does it? A software metrics are analyzed and assessed by software managers. Okay, so, and software engineers use product metrics to help them build higher quality software. So, so the metrics, so these metrics, software metrics, and and their product metrics. So, software, yeah. So 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 managers on the other side use metrics. Uh, everybody in more or less uses uh, metrics in within the development process. Why is it important? If you don't measure, judgment can only be based on subjective, and that's what I was talking about. That we need a more quantitative, because then other people may be more and can uh, easily understand the uh, and and for your own sake, you can you can improve your 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 skills or your 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 process and and, and product. Um, subjective evaluation. You need objective criteria to help guide the design of data, architecture, interfaces, and components. So all around, if you if you measure trends, either good or bad, can be spotted. Better estimates can be made, and true improvement can be accomplished over time. Yeah. So 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 like like some like we um like a metric could be that y- you 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 go measure yourself uh, every day at the same weight and you uh, compared to your um, yeah your your body mass index and over time at the same day. Um, it's it's very difficult to improve or to know where you're going, where you're heading, if you're not weighing yourself every day and seeing this number. Because f- for many people, at least, I'm I'm sure somebody also knows to do it without weighing. But this um, this helps you. Uh, and the doctor and other people to underst- with the knowledge of understanding this um, uh, to uh, to improve uh, to to be more able to uh, to it 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 help it it eases your it it eases your chance it gives you more of a chance to improve your weight and your overall health. So so the weight can be a metric for you to uh, to keep an eye on. What are the steps derive the process, project, and product measures and metrics that you intend to use? Collect the metrics and then analyze them against historical data, and 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 that is also important. Use the analysis results to gain insight into the process, project, and product, because then you can, then you have a um, a a better understanding of what you do good, and where you also need to improve. Uh, because if you com- if you develop Good metrics that can be compared across projects and products, then you will eventually be better, and you will you will you will be able to develop quality uh, products and software, so um, frameworks for for you to to um, you will access uh, quality in your development process. So so metrics are fundamentally important for you to. Uh, to succeed as a uh, software developer uh, or software manager, uh, engineer. What is the product, a set of software metrics that provides insight into the process to gain and understanding the project? Yes. Um, so, so, um, so, so that's that is what I explain also in my function points video. Um, I could be linking that, but yeah, and that that's that's what this is the product it is, and that that could be many products, calculations, and 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 so on and so forth, where you um, time, uh, remember time, you know, remember um, people like lines of codes, something you know, like you have you have all these um, different um, datas that you can compare or you can like numbers and you have to quantify some you have to you have to anal- analyze uh, analyze actions perhaps i would say like analyze how what are your um, like from what 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 kind of quantifiable thing do you um, are you disc- are you seeing like are you using and uh, or could be using in order to um, uh, so, so the first step is actually to analyze that, record it, or something, discover it, record it, 
and then see can you what can what can you make any can you manipulate it in some way like can you know take control of it you know like think of it you know like incorporate um take some action on based on on what you discover um, um and then you will eventually uh, succeed better uh, as a programmer uh, how do I ensure I've done it right? Define only a few metrics and then use them to gain insights into the quality of a process, project and product. Apply a consistent yet simple measurement scheme that is never to be used uh, to assess uh, reward. Uh, that yet simple measurement that is never to be used to assess reward or punish individual performance. So in some way, this metric should be universal in the context of it not um, not being just uh, just it it should more or less um, and and it, it should only be few metrics few metrics when you record and it should yeah it should gain insight so that should be a high this should be um, good metrics like it should be some, it should be um, yeah and and it, that that can um yeah that should be able to be applied consistently so and and then from there you like it's like more or less you you have some knowledge you, you try to discover the metric use some time for that and then come up with some kind of metric um that takes some parameters few parameters i think and see and then try trial and error and and also get insights into what have people already done like uh, it's uh, there's not. There's no need for uh, discovering um, uh, to create to discover the wheel again. So, so in my notes here, I would say that let's uh, in in the notes here. So, let's try to create a table here. So, from what we've talked about. So, oh, it's maybe perhaps not such a good idea. But let's just get something going here. So, um, so make them. Uh, mid product so uh, keep it keep it simple keep keep so metrics are uh, quant quantif quantifiable and uh, helps you helps you under uh, understand what works uh, are quantifiable, yeah, uh, quant quantitative, quanti 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 quantitative. Um, metrics are quantitative measures, measures, yeah, and um, and used by used by engineers, engineers, and managers, software engineers and managers, and they are. Um, they 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 can they can be uh, they are applied in all like they they help helps you build higher quality software and um and 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 they help they they move their focus moves to creates a creates a quantifiable like uh, helps you um, be more objective help create helps you um let's helps you uh, helps uh, to be more analytical and um towards um, evaluation e towards evalu evaluating your project or product so we, uh, and of course it all in regards to um, yeah so so and helps you spot trends helps you helps you spot but trends that could either be good helps use but trends 
either good or bad. Or bad. So, so, so this is perhaps this, the, the way we could sum up this uh, first part. Um, let's just have the other one. Let's just try to copy this. So navigator here and then we just see so going from that um, let's see if we could um, hide here oh, let's just hide it I think it's over. yeah so I think we should um, we could move on here. So, so this is in short terms that how um, how we could consider metrics. Um, so, in some way, so let's just have a look here. So, what does what should we also be aware of when when having metrics? Um, we could we could talk about some um, some of this which is in this chapter 30 uh, 23 um, let's just look here because they have some good examples of ways to um, to to, gen to generate metrics here so we could we could look here some software measurement it talks about data science uh, and, and that's that's considered is concerned with measurements, machine learning, and prediction of the future events based on these measures. And measurements assigns numbers of symbols to attributes of entities in the real world. So attributes of entities. Yeah, and then that's that's perhaps that's 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 her whole um whole field of study data science and and but and this that's not what the book discusses to accomplish this a measurement model encompasses but you can also consider using um, data science if um, for, for for understanding getting the insights of um, of your project either software project or your um, yeah your product so it's and we can also although the theory of measurement and its application to computer so software are topics that are beyond the scope of this book, it's worthwhile to establish a fundamental framework and a set of basic principles that guide the definition of metrics for software development. And 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 this is more the theoretical theoretical part. So metrics like data science, if you want to um, to be more um, if you want to have a, a broader understanding of how or have any you know like get the get the insights to what you are seeing like or you're measuring then data science um understands uh, like it's 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 the, the theoretic uh, the the f study uh based on metrics like based on met based metrics metrics and data so this can this is not a, like the, the field of study is not far from um, from what what we do as a soft, software engineers and, and 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 we could perhaps easily take it up but it also involves a lot of time not focusing computer science so let's just stick with computer uh, software and, and computer science so but we can use this understanding to um, so all, so all measurements metrics and indicators although the, the they have they have developed good understanding of how to measure good so although the terms measure measurement and metrics are often used interchangeably it's important to note the subtle difference between them so when a single data point has been collected the number of errors uncovered within a single software component and measure so how do we understand this well is we have a single data point and um, this has been collected so um, 
and uh, the, the number of errors uncovered within a single so uh, this could be um, a, a um, number of, of errors uncovered let's just take this example within a single software component um, and a measure so this is a measure equals a measure so we should put it here a measure is, uh, is a measure um, uh, yeah and then we have the measurement so let's just to use the same sentence measure um, measure is um, measurement is a uh, occurs as the result of the collection of one or more data points number of component uh, so so occurs as the result of the collection of one or more data points a number of component reviews and unit tests are investigated to collect measures of the number of errors for each so a result of the collection of one or more data points so this is just let's say that um, let's put it in terms of uh, let's saying a measure measure um, can okay measure is the um, a measure like measure so a measure is our uh, one entity here it's like our um, Maybe this, I don't know if this gives, makes any sense. So one measure is the array here, is, is one, consists of one. Well, I measurements are uh, one and two and so on and so, so, so forth. So let's just make three dots here. So, so this is our measurement. So measure is one, while measurement takes our... Um, our um, our um, our our data points and puts them in to let's put data point one um, data point two and this is one this is data point one so and then so 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 that could be a way of understanding this uh, or, or visually representing or Logically, I don't know, um, but this makes some sort of sense. I would hope uh, it does to me. Occurs as a result of the collection of one or more data points. Number of component reviews and units are investigated to col to like to collect measures of the number of errors for each. Okay, so so our data point that is like um, to collect measures of the number of errors. So so like this is data point one and. This is some. This is, could be um, uh, lines, uh, lines of code. So L O C lines of code. Let's see explanation here. L O L O C uh, lines of code over um, uh, errors. Um, okay. So here we have errors um, detected. And the errors, um, okay, so this is our data point. We take uh, that and then we, we put them in here. So, so this is, yeah, this is our data point. So, and then we store this measure, this is our type. We call it data point one. And then we, we, we tell it that this is, um, so LOC could be 100 and 1000 and then our errors could be B50 so and then we get uh, this data point 
and then we get the um, yeah the measurement. So and then let's see here. Um, and this is our like our variables. Yeah, and then I hope the syntax makes sense. So a software metric relates uh, the individual measurements in some way. Okay, so there is number of errors found per review of the average number of errors found per unit test. So perhaps this was um, a bit too quick. So we're just going to remove this. So our data point here is is could be. Um, yeah, so so this measurement, so component reviews and unit tests are investigated to collect measures, number of component reviews and unit tests are investigated to uh, to collect measures of the numbers of errors for each. Okay, so um, for each, uh, so this is, this number, okay, so, so our data point is, um, this could be 10 errors. So our data point um, is errors. So, and then we put it into a, um, um, so our measure is being, okay, so, So we define the measurement, a single data point number of errors uncovered within a single um, software component. Okay, so we, we, we're we going to review this. So data point one, this could be our um, errors in, um, in the system, in the UI. So errors in the UI. So um, and um, the measure measure um, data point two is our errors uh, in the backend backend uh, and then we see that um, so we have the collection number of component reviews and un units except the number of component so this is uh, so we have the end we have errors so so these m this is our measure is it's like it's two different data points, and we have a measure um, measure that uh, counts errors in a given part of the software. Maybe we should add so it counts errors in a um, a uh, a software component. That's better, I think. Software component. And we find data point one for and here was in the UI, it was in the backend. So equals uh, backend UI and data point. Da, 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 da. So that, that could be that that could be ten or something. Let's just just keep it here. So ten, ten, and yeah. Uh, and then the this is the measurement we have we have collected all these uh, measurement uh, measure types of measure. So the measurement. That could be um, uh, this type of measure. Measure, array, and mesh. Uh, measure, measure, and this is our measure. And this is measure array, and this contains 10, 20, and then. Um, and then consist of yeah and then or well, let's just say that this is ui this ui and this is uh, uh, data oh let's just to put data point one data point two so in this way um we can put them in and then uh, we can yeah, and then we then we have the, now we have the um, now we have to produce a metric software metric. Um, so this relates to the individual measures. So so we 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 so the metric software metric could um, 
Okay, so so um, so we errors. So this uh, software metric is uh, error. Is um, measure per review. And um, and what do we do then? Then this is the measure per review. So. Or the average number of errors found per unit says. Let's just keep a review. A software engineer near collects measures and develops metrics so that the so the indicators will be obtained. An indicator is a indicator is a metric uh, or combination of metrics that provides insight into the software process. So um, is a metric or combination of metrics that provide inside into the software uh, process a software project or the product itself. So this is the indicator will then would either be it could be our software metric software metric the the per error per review and this could um this could be indicator and could could be this just this or could be indicator is something like our um, this could be um, uh, it could be then error per view p1 project one and Project one and plus project two divided by um, like um, uh, something like uh, so or yeah yeah it uh, um, so we 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 add them together and then we should divide them by projects. So, oh, this is more visual. Maybe perhaps it's a visual representation. Let me just save you for now with this. So, uh, I think we should just keep it to this. So, 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 uh, so maybe it, it could be a, um, it could be a graph, a, a graph, graphical representation. Representation. So this is way we could understand measures, metrics, and indicators. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video. I'm going to pause it now. I think we um, we got we got a good hold of how to understand metrics and what it consists of. So thank you for for keeping keep standing with in this. Uh, oh, how we say it? Keep watching. Thank you.